This is just a quick follow-up video because the last video I did a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up the Mono Control app for multi-cam monitoring. That was done through my home Wi-Fi network on my iPad Pro 2 12.9 inch M1. That is not a cellular device, so I don't have the option to do a hotspot on that to connect the cameras directly to the iPad. So I actually have to have a network that I can connect into. However, this iPad 10th gen is cellular. And this is part of my work setup where I have my FX30s here, which I regularly would need to connect via multicam. So this equipment here, I'm actually gonna do this setup via the hotspot method. So that means wherever I'm shooting in, the camera should connect automatically once the hotspot is set up. So if I just swipe down from the top right, press and hold the Wi-Fi setting, and there you see personal hotspot device here. If you don't see this menu here, you may need to go into your settings and customize. Mine was set by default, but if I just hit personal hotspot, it's now discoverable. I do need to go into the Wi-Fi settings to configure my hotspot. So if I just press and hold the Wi-Fi, go into Wi-Fi settings, and then down on the left-hand side, swipe up, go to personal hotspot, and then if you just set your Wi-Fi password. When setting up the Wi-Fi password for your hotspot, I would actually try and do something a bit more of a simple password. It's not actually an easy process to type in the password on the cameras because you actually have to navigate through the D-pad. So if I was just to turn on the camera now, go to network, Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi connect on, access point set. And then from here, you can see it's picked up Leo's iPad. So I'm gonna go into that, type in the password and here we are connected to the iPad directly and you can see that by the indication there and if I was to go out and then check into connect PC remote PC remote function is on so as you can see in the top right over here my hotspot is still enabled so if I was to hit monitor control app it's now searching for cameras on the network and as you can see, it's picked up the Sony FX30. So if I just hit connect, you can see that it's picked up there. So if I just actually go through and do all of the cameras now. So as you can see, I'm in personal hotspot mode. Each camera is now connected to my iPad directly. And as you can see, each camera is connected to my iPad. I could do all the multi-cam features that I demonstrated in my last video. And this has all been done without the need of being connected to a home or business network. I'm connected all three cameras directly to the iPad. And this means wherever I go, I'll be able to connect directly to this without actually having to deal with any potential bandwidth issues on anyone else's network. And I can also shoot on location like outside as an example. So that's just a very quick run through to show you how to set up your iPad cellular to connect all your cameras directly to the iPad without the need of a network and use the multi-cam monitoring features on the monitor control app.